When one thinks of Portland music, the first thing that comes to mind definitely is not country music. However, we hope to change that at least marginally this evening. Right now, we have with our special guest, the Mackenzie River Band, providing us with contemporary country sounds. Tell us a little bit about the band. Well, we started out as a trio. We used to <coughs> play mainly acoustic music, two uh, acoustic guitars and a bass. And we did that for, I guess, about a couple years. <coughs> and we just kind of graduated toward country. We were doing country music, but in a little bit different fashion than what you think of as country. And it just kind of was a, a natural process, I guess, moving that direction. I understand you guys were the winners of the 1987 Marlboro Talent Contest. It was a contest that included, I think, 140 bands throughout the Northwest, and they all submitted a tape, and uh, the tapes were screened, and they picked 40 bands from that, and the 40 bands simply had a competition, uh, judges from radio stations, so on and so forth, around the area, and we ended up winning, so it was a real, uh, it's a real boost for us. We got to, got to go to Moro Coliseum and play in front of 12,000 people, and open for George Strait, the Judds, and Alabama. It was great. I understand you guys just completed a very successful gig in L.A. Yeah, we just got back from L.A., as a matter of fact. We uh, played at a club down there called the Crazy Horse, which um, has won the Club of the Year the last two years in a row on the Country Music Awards. We had a two-week engagement down there and uh, got to play in front of a bunch of L.A. people and some record execs, and uh, it was great. It was really good for us, good experience for us. This summer we traveled around the Northwest playing the fair circuit and uh, did two to three shows a day in a, in a real concert uh, type setting and played to up, upwards of 2,500 people per show each day. And after the shows we had our little souvenir tables down there with, with our albums and our tapes, our t-shirts, um, all our merchandise and we sold completely out of every album and tape we have. So that's pretty good. We're really happy about that. Could you please tell us a little bit about the song we're about to hear? Well, it was a song that was sent to us by uh, Marty Gamlin, who's Glenn Campbell's manager. And uh, nobody had wanted to really do anything with the song, which we found really surprising because we really liked it. So we basically made it into a McKinsey River Band song, kind of our own version of it. And uh, we think it's a great song. It's going to be on our new album, hopefully, if it's one of the ones picked. And uh, we, really, we really like the tune. All right, Joe. Let's have you introduce the next video. Here's Scene of the Crime by the McKinsey River Band on MRB Records. Crime. 